Alright guys, what's going on? Redstorm's Assassin here with another Minecraft video for you guys. So hopefully you guys have been doing well and have enjoyed the video so far. Uh, for those of you who have seen a couple of my previous videos or have been with me for a while now, hopefully you guys have noticed that I actually did put a new intro video on this video. So if you guys enjoyed it and you think it's better than my old one, tell me, leave a comment below, tell me which one you like better. If you like the new one better, just say that you like it better. And uh, if you like the old one better, I'll switch back. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into the trap and I'm going to show you how it works. So what we have today is a water break trap so this will um, kill the player when they fall down I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works again first off this one room right here is just kind of show them that it's safe uh, so you have a water break here and the ladder so the water break basically allows the player to go down um, further without actually you know and taking any fall damage and it's a lot faster than climbing down a ladder so this is our actual trap here the trap is on this side the ladder is for coming back up but some people may actually take the ladder down and that isn't a problem because there's actually nothing down there and they'll eventually come back up but if you take the water break it'll kill them and you'll get their stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you so you fall and it would do that except I actually have um, since I have fly mode on I don't take any fall damage so let's do that again Alright, so let's try this again since I failed the first time since I had fly mode on. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna fall down and it'll kill us just like that. So hopefully um, you guys saw what happened. Um, basically, right before you hit the ground, the piston pops out and it closes up the water part where you're supposed to fall through and you hit the ground and die. This will actually completely leave their stuff. So let me just actually hop down there and as you can see, you can pick up all the stuff right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wiring behind it and actually it's really 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 simple to make and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works and hopefully you guys will be able to make it just by looking at the video. So as you can see a block actually just went into my inventory and as you saw below it pulsed. So here's the mechanism right here. So let's go in here and we'll check things out. So what it is is a first off a wooden pressure plate right here in the corner where you can't see it but you can actually pick up items through a corner just like so. So if we have here and we had something like here, I can still pick up the items through the corner. So that's how it works. That's the key principle to how making this trap work. So once the block is removed, it reverses, the piston pops out and it kills the player. So once the item is removed, um, the redstone current below is turned off and that then goes one current leads to this dispenser here to pop another block out to reset the trap and the other wiring goes down down yeah, here yeah this is the room this is the room it's just dark yeah we have the piston here an inverter so it inverts the current so that the piston is off but when it is turned off then the piston pops out and pretty much kills you so right here as you can see it pops out and that's pretty much the main principle for the trap. I'm gonna fly up here and show you it again. See, so if we cover this up, I'll pop some more dirt blocks over there. There we go. So it's open normally, right? But then once you pick up the block, I'm gonna look down there, and as you can see, it pulsed. So let's do it again, it pulses. And um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all it is for the trap. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to build it. If you guys wanna know more about that uh, mechanism or the key principle of having the motion detector or player detector, um, go to my channel and type in motion detection and you'll be f and you'll find one called like motion detection and there's two videos on it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, um, leave it a thumbs up. If you guys want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you already haven't. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget, tell me with whether you like the new intro better or the old intro better. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So take care, guys.